Hi, I'm Kylie Gauna from SP Gymnastics. Kylie, your team finished the home portion of your schedule and the regular season at the same time with a real good meet Saturday here at Brome Pavilion. You hit over 192 for the fourth week in a row. Do you feel like this team's peaking at the right time? Yeah, I definitely think uh, we've kind of been building momentum over the past couple weeks and building confidence in our routines and just really going out and having fun with it. Air Force was the team you competed against. You now go to their place in Colorado Springs on Saturday for the MPSF Championships. It's the conference meet six teams in that really good competition. Your thoughts on going to that meet? Yeah, we're super excited. I think it's going to be a really good meet. Conference is always fun. Um, a lot of teams, and we've seen most of them throughout the season, and I think it'll be good. A couple of unique factors about that meet. First, since there are six, there will be six rotations. Each team, including yours, will have two buys. How does that impact when you're used to just going for events straight through? Um, we just make sure we stay together as a team and it's a time to just really keep our focus on ourselves and we just kind of like talk through, keep our confidence up and keep the energy up. I haven't seen the draw yet, but uh, in a meet like this, you, you don't know what order you're going to get. So as a floor specialist, does it matter to you? Do you like it to happen earlier in the meet or do you prefer it at the end or like the tradition? Um, I don't really have a preference. I think I just like have a mental like confidence going in no matter what. Just when it's my time, it's my time. You've had real good uh, floor success this year. You have a high of 9.75 at San Jose State. What made that routine your best of the year? Um, I think I just went out with confidence and my teammates were cheering really loud so it was a lot of fun. Is there a key point in your floor routine that uh, you feel like if you hit that, you're going to score great? Um, I think throughout the routine, I just stay in my mental cues, and I don't think there's really one point. It's just kind of keeping, uh, staying confident throughout the whole thing. What is it you like about the floor exercise the most? Um, I definitely love performing, and my dance is really fun, and it's just a good time. One of the other unique factors about uh, competing in Colorado Springs, it's uh, they it's a mile high. It's the altitude. You've competed before there, there before, including this year. Uh, do you notice while you're in your floor routine uh, the altitude? Um, this year, I don't think it really affected any of us. I think we've done a lot of routines, and our coaches have prepared us really well. So no, I don't think it's been affecting us. Great. Um, well, this year's team has uh, an interesting mix: 16 gymnasts, but only four of you are upperclassmen. Mm -hmm. Uh, we honored Brittany Atchison, the only senior on the team on Saturday. We'll just talk a little bit about Britt and what she's meant to the team. Yeah, Britt's uh, super awesome. She's super, she's just a great leader, a uh, really good gymnast, and she just brings like a really good energy, positive energy into the gym. You're a junior, uh, along with Itzia San Ramon and Carly Cano. Just three of you in that class, you'll be the seniors next year. Uh, because that's such a small group of upperclassmen, has that uh, kind of forced you guys to take on a bigger leadership role? Um, I think so, but I think definitely a lot of the returners stepped up this year and have taken on leadership roles, and I think we all just really worked well together this year. You mentioned 12 of the 16 on the team are underclassmen, six of those are freshmen, and they had a re some real good efforts on uh, Saturday, including McKenna Zimmerman. She won the all-around and the beam. Uh, why is McKenna such a good gymnast? She works so hard in the gym and she really shows consistency every single day and I think that really shows out on the competition floor. Interesting uh, week. In the past the conference meet has come at the end of finals week and you've been on the road. It's making it tough. This year this calendar falls that uh, finals week was last week so you're off this week. Does that uh, help in preparation for the conference meet on Saturday? Um, I think so because it's really nice that our whole team is here to practice together. We don't have conflicting like uh, classes or any schedule conflict so it's been it'll be nice to be all together and because it is spring break all of you will be traveling uh, as a team which is a rarity for a road meet uh, how, how will that uh, change the dynamic I think it'll definitely help with like energy and just like help us stay together and I think it'll be a lot of fun well let's uh, talk a little bit about yourself first uh, tell us where you're from I'm from Torrance California and uh, would you put that geographically for us um, it's about 20 30 minutes south of LA why did you choose to come to Seattle Pacific? Um, as soon as I got here, I just loved the community, and it was a great atmosphere, and they have a really good nursing program, and obviously felt like I fit right in with gymnastics. Now, uh, are you majoring in nursing? Yes. And uh, after gymnastics and after college, what are your plans in the future? Um, I'm going to take the NCLEX, so I hope to become a RN, and I will go into the, that field. Fantastic. Great. Well, Kylie, thank you so much for your time, and good luck in Colorado Springs at the MPSF meet. Thank you.